working on the old pole it's her cell today i'm gonna fill in these rust holes at the fenders here both of two sides both sides both sides yeah that'll be good let's see how i can do it gonna be using all these products here Costs about 250 but maybe get to return a couple things. We'll see. Yeah, should be good. So I'm mainly just following Chris Bick's video on doing this. So I used some rubbing alcohol, cleaned off the area a bit. Uh, now I'm going to pull off all the rust. I've just pulled off the tire just so I can pull this back a bit more. Luckily it's just this external part. So it's not too bad. It does go up pretty high though. Um, yeah, eye protection. My asbestos mask. So that will keep me safe. All right. a tricky area to work on I got uh, got her got her down and it was still a bit but she'll be good uh, even got on the back side here which I'm gonna put the rubberized metal or the rubberized undercoating on the back side so you won't see it definitely should be welding a piece on here but we're gonna I'm gonna form it and just do my best to make it work cuz uh, yeah as long as it doesn't rust anymore, that's all I'm really getting at. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, gonna mix the Bondo glass, and then we get that after. And then this, um, go watch Chris Fix's video, because this is where I got the tip from. You make a circle, half inch high, and then you pour the hardener over the diameter of the circle, and then mix it. By scooping it all up and just flattening it out. Not too shabby. Yeah. Well, while I'm waiting for that to cure. I'm gonna start working on this a little bit here, which I don't really think I need Bondo, but I might throw some uh, throw some on, but I'm just gonna get all that rust off. Just so uh, I can protect that. Yeah, just a little bit of rust here and there. Nothing crazy. I actually had a, a lot more rust than I thought. I even got a little hole right here. It's kind of a pain, but it's okay. Not too bad on here. Got that, uh, got the rust off. My uh, my brush is starting to get a little low, so I want to save it for this side, this side, which isn't as bad as the other side, actually. That's kind of nice. But yeah, I'm happy I checked this out because uh, it's good to get that done before it gets any worse. Too. This, this side wasn't actually as bad. There's starting to be a little hole right here, but uh, yeah, nothing. I will throw some epoxy on that. Oh, there we go. There's a little hole there. Oh shit, eh? <laughs> that, that's what they drilled up for the crown spray. So nice. This car has been undercoated, which is sweet. You can totally see it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna. Maybe throw some light epoxy on that and maybe something in here. Pretty good form already. Uh, yeah, ready for the next Bondo step. Nice and sanded. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. Just gonna sit just like that. Honestly, I don't need it to be perfect. I just need it not to rest. <laughs> and this is looking pretty sweet. Ignorant. Give his life. Sad 
they, I couldn't get the sucker in. So I had to make a little bit of a indent in there and uh, that will secure to the car. And I also epoxy these little, I don't know what the hell they are, they're plastic things that help hold that on. So I just epoxied them on now. And uh, yeah, it's so just waiting for that to dry, give her a last little sand and then do some spot filling and this side's done. Uh, ready for paint and I'm gonna start on the next side before I start painting. I'm gonna paint everything at once. Yeah, looking good. Ignorant. Live his life. Ignorant. Okay, so everything's good. I uh, just put the spot putty on here. Just to get all those small little divots out. And I sprayed the back of this. See that? Oh, I forgot to spray that again. I'll spray that again. Uh, with the rubberized stuff. And I'm gonna do the other side and just pull these time lapses and not stop. Well, she is primed now. Still loose, but yeah, primed. And I'm just gonna give her a sand with 600 grit, and then she's ready to be painted. Yeah, pretty sweet. Looking pretty good. That, that was not bad. And this side, this side was actually worse. But yeah, look at that. I gotta just stick it, stick it out a little bit. Yeah, she's freaking solid. Nice. I found peace in your vibes. Can't show me there's no point in trying. So on the clear coat, we're going for a nice gloss finish. Glossy finish. Ooh, that sprays a lot. Crazier than the other stuff. All right, here's pretty much the finished product. I just had to put the fender back on. I just had to reattach those screws. Uh, but yeah, it actually turned out well. The color is off. Hard to not match a 89 to herself. You can really see it here. The color is just, it's just off. It's really close though. But yeah, I didn't do too well in the form on this side, but over here I freaking, I feel like I nailed it. She looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this last clear coat to dry and put the fender back on. And then in a couple days, I'm just gonna give her a good wet sand and a buff. And that will be her. Freaking sweet, Shaq Brath. 